Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for being here with me. Let's see what's going on. What do y'all need to know at the time you see this reading? What do y'all need to know at the time you see this reading? I really feel like this Eight of Swords energy has something to do with someone being afraid of something. Afraid of because they had their swords up in a situation. This person like wants to put down their swords because they are worried or afraid. This no no kidding this is giving me um this card can represent pregnancy in reverse this this card is giving me like hidden pregnancy someone here did that come out yesterday that came out recently i think it came out in a reading that didn't get posted um someone may have moved on and started a a Someone feels trapped in this situation. Someone moved on. They had a hidden pre pregnancy elsewhere and, and like started a new life with another individual. And now they feel trapped in a situation because it's like constant, constant, constant five of swords energy. This card keeps coming out. Something about the moon here. Somebody had hidden intentions with this situation, with this. Someone had hidden intentions with this. That's a huge tower right there. Someone had hidden intentions with some sort of hidden pregnancy. Some sort of truth coming out about someone's independence. Yeah, someone's definitely worried. This is what I was saying. Someone feels like worried or afraid or stuck. Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Someone's afraid about some sort of truth coming out. Emperor. Emperor. And hermit, I've been getting this a lot, that someone's emperor, potential emperor, potential divine masculine, or this person currently is in divine masculine energy, has been in this hermit's energy trying to sort out some sort of confusion, situation, something that's hidden. This person might be trying to figure out that there was something, they're sensing something was going on beneath the surface. And they're like trying to put the pieces together. You might be receiving whoever you are. You may be receiving um, more communication soon. I feel like 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 spirit spirits willing to work with you i don't know why it's coming out that way <laughs> and i just saw 411 so you're gonna get the 411 if you keep going in the right direction someone's trying to figure out something to do there was um multiple people involved in a situation and this person's like trying to sniff out the details sniff out the truth of how and why or what something someone made a love offer someone made a love offer to an empress in reverse Ooh. rough 
this person, I'm telling you, this person had hidden intentions with a hidden pregnancy. And here this person is, is an empress, a mother out in reverse. There's something about other people involved in a situation. And this is why this person is trying to figure out the truth. Yeah, a lot of confusion coming out. Whoever this um, emperor is or divine masculine here, you could be a water sign or have a heavy water sign placement. Or there's another individual involved. There's a lot of people involved. There could be another individual involved who is a masculine energy with a water sign placement. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone here really wants to heal and move on from a situation that came, that turned out to be a huge, huge tower in their life or is about to be. Whoever you are, you may be trying really hard to like, maybe someone here, I'm getting this energy of like, get my shit together. Someone here is trying really hard to get my shit together. Now there's the Queen of Pentacles coming out. This person feels like maybe they're trying to get something together because they're they're worried that this Queen of Pentacles is burden they're burdening them. They're using money to burden them. Or they're going to use money to burden them. I really feel like this person, this emperor, this emperor and a hermit's energy right now. First of all, this number has been coming out. If you've been seeing 117711 or any combinations of that, it can be like 7, 7711, any combinations of that. If you've been seeing this, this probably has something to do with um, your energy or has a message for you in it. And it also is to say you're doing something right at this time. You're on the right path at this time. You're realigning with something you're meant to be doing at this time. Huge ending here. Huge ending. This could be how you're on the right path. You being in this position of like, oh, what have I done? Let me redirect. Let me move on to calmer waters. Let me heal from something. Let me figure out some sort of hidden intention or hidden circumstance. What all is this person trying to figure out? Something here, this person feels like they got betrayed and I don't feel, and it's not just this one person. This person got betrayed by multiple people. This person feels betrayed by multiple people. So what does this divine masculine need to know about this energy? Or it could be a divine feminine and divine masculine ener uh, energy. So if it makes sense for you, if all the, if everything is like clicking and making sense, then, then yes, this is your message. Something is happening in perfect timing. Divine timing is at play. You need to understand divine timing is at play. You could be dealing with someone 
who is the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat, or you are Chinese zodiac sign of the rat, or someone's going to rat somebody out. <laughs> and again, I just saw 10 11. So something is moving towards its destination. Here's this earth sign again. Queen of, Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign. This Five of Cups energy is really coming through right now as like a OF, oh, what have I done? What is this person making sense of? Someone's making sense of something here. overindulgence in something this person overindulges in something and I also feel like this person realizes that they were meant to take leadership over a situation or a circumstance and they didn't give like enough effort or they didn't care enough or maybe they were overindulging too much to like take their position seriously Maybe this person feels like they were acting like a monster. I also feel like this person was carrying around a lot of baggage and wanted somebody else to kind of like carry the baggage for them, unlock it for them, clear it for them, heal for them. Or this is someone someone's dealing with here. Who is this individual coming out here like this? Someone could have been calling you a monster, but actually you're, you're a spiritual warrior. Yeah, you have a very strong connection. Very strong connection or relationship with God here. This could be, this is what this person is trying to figure out. Someone here convinced them to look at you this way. And they're trying to figure this out. They're trying to figure out how they got, I keep getting a message of a masculine energy in hermit's energy. This has come out several times the past couple of days. How did I get from here to here? It's almost like somebody was doing something to this masculine and they don't, they didn't even realize it someone was doing something to this person and they didn't realize it and they're waking up going how did i end up calling it's this um empress in reverse this empress in reverse caused your emperor or again wherever wherever it makes sense you know who's who in a situation the empress in reverse this was this was this is what this person's trying to figure out. This is connected to this like negative intention, what came out in the beginning, a negative intention surrounding a hidden pregnancy. And this person started doing something to this masculine. This person was doing something to this masculine to make him look at you like you were a monster, like you were someone who was dangerous. I mean, I'm really getting some, like what you would call spell work basically, which can be any, it's any freaking thing. I don't even want to know half the time. I'm surprised by the things people actually do. People actually can be as wild as you, you would see someone in a movie. This is all about someone's love connection.
and what I'm really feeling is, yeah, this person, this person is ma- trying to make sense of this person is catching this person, this empress in reverse where their tr- true intentions, this empress in reverse was trying to do something to this masculine to, um, remove themselves from their soulmate. Maybe you are coming out or whoever seeing this is coming out as someone's soulmate. A Euro divine masculine and this issue has to do with making moves away from your soulmate. So you're figuring this out. Someone here could, um, as a divine being, someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat or sheep. Something about regeneration. Something about you're trying to like reform yourself, rebuild yourself. And you are on the, yeah, for a new beginning. And you are on the right path. I just saw a tower again. This was a huge tower for you. You are on the right path in the sense of being in this hermit's energy. Because sometimes you have to make sense of a, um, of a truth that was kept hidden from you, especially because these individuals could still be holding on to your energy. You're on the right path for trying to make sense of that. So you're able to accept it and heal from it. For some of you, um, some of you, I've been getting this image, this image, um, and this person even has, this person has a, a, a tongue like a snake. And what that means is they know how to like twist words and things, but they use their tongue to make it sound very casual. So it's easily absorbed. And this is part of how someone manipulates and there's something about someone being that energy, being a snake, being a snake, a manipulator, and also something about being a mother. Maybe this person has multiple children or something here that I'm getting through about like a feminine it, it versus in reverse who has like multiple children. And someone in this energy is actually nurturing and whoever you are, you're receiving a blessing. I almost feel like there was a divine masculine who was tricked, who was tricked. And this could have actually been like a, a trick from the devil, like a, a karmic lesson here, just to see if you were ready for something. And the trick was between an empress in the upright and an empress in reverse. And now that's why this person's in hermit's energy at this time. Someone here, whoever you are, that's receiving reward for being in a nurturer or in a nurturing energy, being in the upright, you're becoming, you're aligning with your abundance and you're receiving, um, rainbows, keep an eye out for rainbows. They will be a sign or signal for you. And it does not have to just be a rainbow in the sky. It can be rainbows when you start seeing you go shopping or something, you start seeing rainbows on, on like clothing items. Um, you can see rainbows, like rainbows on the TV. You, what you're noticing is you're seeing a lot of rainbows popping up. So that's going to be a sign or signal for you that your reward is right there, right around the corner or to take action on something, some sort of divine, um, divine like suggestion an idea an opportunity yeah I'm, this is what's strongly coming through right now someone here was faced with a decision between an empress in the upright and an empress in reverse and i don't know why this whole thing is connecting to like mothers mother 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 something about mother something somebody needs to look at something something about someone's mother 
and whoever whoever's in the upright is coming into this peace this harmony something about music is very significant for you you might receive a new gift here soon it might have to do with music if you are a musician and you are a, a empress in the upright you might finally have an opportunity or something to do your music something like this here and then this other individual involved this in person reverse is going to experience a lot of stagnation because there was some sort of dark intentions involved intentions are very important and you can simply be called as it can simply be called as like black magic when someone is doing something from dark intentions over and over and over again. There's something here. This person is coming out. This empress in reverse is someone. This, anyone could be dealing with someone like this right now, unfortunately. This individual is um, this person coming out. It's like a snake. A snake with like tons of babies. Like baby eggs snake 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 egg tons of snake eggs there's something about this person and like this is part of someone who may or may not have been connected or is connected with this individual if you are coming out as this divine this emperor and hermit's energy trying to make sense trying to heal from something this goes into like karmic lessons energetic healing part of half of the struggles you've been going through this you could have even dealt with this individual in another lifetime and you brought this storyline again into this lifetime because you didn't learn from something yet and what it is is this person's energy is like poisoning your life this is like energetic and and that can be as simple as choosing a partner if you keep choosing this person over and over again and not seeing them for who they truly are or not having the courage to cut this person off, something like this, the minute you are on the right path, the minute you are on the right path, you are wholly and truly protected to cut someone off that you are meant to cut off. I see two, two, two on the clock. Again, this has to do with some, some, Big time soul lessons for an emperor and an empress. Commencement. Yeah, this is a big time soul lessons for an emperor and an empress, an actual like twin flame connection. Let's get some final messages. Final messages for whoever this reading is for. Something is a blessing in disguise and you don't realize it right now. But you will soon. Especially if you're this emperor that's in Hermit's Energy. You've been seeing combinations of like ones and sevens. You're on the right path. Breathe through the tension. Breathe through your discomfort. You can maintain your peace no matter no matter what is going on around you, believe it or not. As difficult as it seems. Someone here may be an entrepreneur or you're meant to be an entrepreneur. Maybe your business has been struggling because of your connections or associations. Relax. I just said that, right? Like you can maintain your peace no matter what you are going through. So work on your peace and, it, and work on yourself. Do what you need to do to uncover your joy right it's time someone is on the verge of if you're still connected to this karmic lesson this karmic individual you're on the verge of figuring something out and being able to move forward 
just go with it. Whatever comes your way right now, surrender. That's what it means to surrender. And the truth, the ugly truth of surrender is, yes, sometimes we are still stuck, stuck in karmic cycles. And we may be surrendering in something that's very uncomfortable, but you're meant to. So just, it's going to teach you something. You're, you no one can take your peace out of, out of you. You can be at peace no matter what's going on around you. Maintain your peace. Keep your peace. The more you keep your peace, the more you will see peace in your external life. Anything and everything and everyone interfering with what says inner peace to you, that's what you release and then you flow. It's time to move on from this lesson and you're very close. If you haven't already done it, you're very close. Cleanse and detox. You're going to need to cleanse the energy that's been, been kind of within you, surging through you from dealing with this individual. Especially for those of you who have been intimate with someone like for a long period of time that you realize is actually has snake energy, is a snake-like individual do not worry. You can overcome this. You can cleanse from this. You can heal from this. You can move on from this. Especially if you're meant to. Change in direction. So someone here might be on the verge. Might be on the verge. There's something very important about your emotions here. Cool your emotions. Honor your feelings. So it's very important to... If you are still connected um, with this Empress in reverse and part of their negative intentions, this person is battling you in some way, stirring up, they're, they're, they could have moved on to trying to control you by stirring you up into, into uh, aggressive energy, into arguments all the time, into fighting with them all the time. They take your energy away every time. Every time you feel the need to continue to do that with them. So this is part of why you're being guided into your peace. Whatever you need to do to remove yourself and your energy from this entanglement. People like this understand that you can stay entangled with them through like anger and fighting. So this is part of what this is. This is part of what you're being guided to do at this time to help move on or break free of something here. Then also just accept, accept whatever is going on around you at this time. You are on the right path. I hope this reading gave you some sort of clarity or help in whatever you're going through at this time. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I will see y'all again next time.